Hi there, it's Damien from Anton. I'm going to talk to you about our range of gas leak detectors today. Um, we've recently um, developed some new products and we've got some extra additional products of what we had before, so I'm just going to run you through what we've got. Um, you're probably more familiar with a, a gas leak detector that looks a bit like this with a wand. Um, and this is a replacement for the AGM50 we used to do. I'll come on to that in a minute. But we've also got another option, which is more this sort of pen style gas leak detector. Um, a bit more cost effective than the other one, but uh, you know, just, as, just as good in terms of its functionality. So basically, hold down that button there to turn it on. Um, you can see it displays all the, the LEDs are working and you can hear the sounder. And what's happening is the sensor is just getting up to temperature because it needs to be at a reasonably um, high temperature in order to work. So and then as it settles down, you can see it coming down now and it's starting to get a confidence blip. And we're down to green sets on and there you are, it's beeping. When we start approaching a gas leak with it, that beep will increase and those uh, LEDs will light up as you get closer to it. The two up and down buttons here can adjust the sensitivity. So if you've got a very big leak, you might want to back it off on sensitivity. If you've got a smaller leak, you might want to increase it sensitivity. It's as simple as that, really. Um, it comes with two AA batteries supplied. They're, they're good commercial Duracell batteries, but when they run out, you can replace them easily in the back. Um, just quick demonstration, if I apply a bit of gas to it, you can see it goes off like that. And then again, you can adjust the tick rate. Simple as that. Um, to turn it off, you hold the two down and that's now gone off. That one is £59 plus VAT at this price. Um, very cost effective. Also comes with a little pouch to keep it in, to protect it. So just pop it in like that. And you can wear that on your belt. It's got a little belt clippers there if you want it. But um, yeah, you keep that in your pocket nice and handy. That's called the APM45, by the way. <laughs> okay, this is this replaces our very popular AGM50. This is called the AGM55. Exactly the same functionality as the, as the pen version. Uh, just a, a more familiar in terms of, um, you know, I guess the, the previous design. We just basically tried to make this as robust as possible. For example, this has now got a more flexible, stronger gooseneck, so you can sort of get that into tight spaces. Um, when I turn it on again, it will go through its warm-up cycle exactly the same as the AGM or the APM45. Um, so you can see it's just showing all the lights. Um, that will then settle down as it's done. We've got a tick rate, and then again, adjustable tick rate with the up and down buttons here. Um, as with the APM45, we've got an LED, so if you're in dark spaces looking for the um, leak, you can help see where you're pointing it. Lots of work gone into making this tip more robust, so that doesn't um, you know, come off or break. Um, and again, this is supplied with three AA batteries. Uh, again, Duracell is all part of the package. Comes with a, a sort of nice rubber boot to help protect it. Um, and you sort of remove that to get to the battery compartment at the back. Um, and you can see, just get that back on, exactly as before, you've got a little clasp to hold it in, um, adjustable tick rate, and if I apply some gas to it, you can see it, you know, it goes up and down according to how much gas you show it. Um, very useful tool, quickly spot uh, where your leaks are, um, again, on off button, hold it down to turn it off, simple as that. Um, we do an accessory for that. This is available separately. Sorry, that one's uh, £119 plus the VAT. Ordinarily, I'm sure if you, you go online, you might, or in your merchant, you can probably get a bit of a deal on it, but that is the list price. Um, we do a nice protective um, sort of, yeah, holder for it. Um, you can basically slot this in here. Sorry. Okay. And then that goes in there like that. And it's, uh, it just helps protect it. Um, that is an additional item. There's a nice catalogue that tells you all about it. I just remind myself how much that additional item is. So that's £12 plus fat if you want that, that nice uh, hard carry pouch. Um, again, you can pick up the catalogue from uh, most merchants um, or the details are on our website. Um, just before I go away from that, the, the other thing you can do is you can use your blue gas analyzer. So if you've got a pro two and above then you can basically get an additional accessory for it with pro two you have to buy that separately it's 59 pound plus vat i think um, and then with pro three for sorry it's 65 pounds 
with um, Pro 3 and above, it comes with the kits as standard. So every analyzer comes with that on Pro 3 and above, but Pro 2 you buy separately. And all you do, plug it in the side, in your test menu here, you go down, you, you choose gas escape detection. Uh, and just like with the other units, the sensor has to get up to temperature. Um, so it's, te it's just checking the sensor. It warms up and it, it tells you on the bar there and exactly the same way um, once it's up to speed. Okay, so now you can see it's, it's warmed up. We're in clean, it's, it's asking, are you in clean air? So it's gonna do a little zero of itself. I've said yes. And now just like before, you've got a little tick going on there and, um, and we're detecting gas. Um, if I show you, again, apply a bit of gas here to the sensor. So you can see again, increasing um, noise and run the LEDs. We've just on the screen here, got a, a yellow through to sort of red bar to tell you how close you are to the leak. Um, can save an awful lot of time when you're you know, looking for a leak. The beauty of having the one that plugs into the instrument is obviously, you know, this has got lithium ion batteries, you're not having to replace batteries in it. And talking of batteries, this new design, um, slimmer tip to get in more space, it's still got the LED in the end. Um, and it is, um, it uses a third of the power consumption of the one that V and Evo used to use. So we, people used to really like this function, uh, you know, the gas leak detector, but didn't like the fact that it murdered the battery. So we've, we've worked on that. And this now um, is a lot more current, or a lot less current consuming the old one, and it will last three times as long. Um, so yeah, there you go, gas leak detection. Thank you.